Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about my favorites and fails for the month of September. If you're interested in hearing what I loved, what I just didn't like or didn't work for me, then just keep watching. Okay, so today I'm bringing you my favorites and fails. I'm also very excited because in addition to telling you what I loved and what I didn't like so much, I'm also collaborating with a really, really cool girl here on YouTube. Um, I met her a few months back and I've just really enjoyed her channel. She creates these really a beautiful, amazing eye looks, but more than that, I just think she's so real. And so I'm just so happy that I finally get to work with her. Her name is Lila Alina. Here she is. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's funny as hell. She does make content in Spanish sometimes, just like me. Once in a while, we'll throw in a Spanish video. And so I am just so thrilled to be working with her. Now, I typically focus on high-end or luxury makeup here on my channel as well as, well as skincare. And her focus is more in the drugstore slash middle space in between type of makeup brands. And so that's why I thought that this collaboration would be amazing because you get a little mix of everything. Um, you know, me, just like everybody else, I love luxury makeup, but I still, if there's something from the drugstore that I absolutely love, I'm going to tell you about it. For the longest time, I really didn't see a point in investing in uh, luxury lipsticks or lip products. And so my go-to place for those types of products was the drugstore. I still love a ton of drugstore, but today I'm going to focus on what I've been using, the luxury makeup, maybe high-end skincare, and tell you a little bit about it. And if it's good, it's good. And if it's not, it's not. So that's all I'm going to say. So after you check out my video, make sure and go check her out. She's amazing. I think that you will find her refreshing and just so super down to earth and real. Her channel, her video is all linked down below. Now let's get into it during the video. If you like what you see, give me a like. And then also make sure and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And let's go to product number one. Okay, so I'm not really going in any particular order. Also, I'll throw in fails in between favorites. Um, I'm just kind of going through the through the ton of stuff that I have here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. The first product that I've absolutely been loving is the Tatcha The Rice Wash. This was included in our Tatcha box takeover for Trend Mood, um, I would say about a month and a half ago, and I have been loving it. So the entire box was filled with Tatcha products. I instantly jumped on it because I love Tatcha products. Actually in my skincare video, which I will link up here, I talk a little bit about the Tatcha Essence and how it's one of my go-to products for skincare. Um, so I definitely was so excited to see Tatcha in the Trend Mood box. Well, this was one of the products that came in the box it was actually a new release at the, at the time that this box uh, shipped out to us, and I have been loving it. Now, what I love about this is it's a, it's a soft cream, but you can also feel like little exfoliating granules, or I guess the rice product inside the wash, but it gives a very gentle exfoliation, um, and it just gives you a very clean, not stripped face, and I absolutely love what I'm seeing in my skin. Another thing that I love is that a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit goes a long way. So because it's a cream product, it takes a minute to like get it worked into your face, um, and so it does really just take a tiny, tiny little dot, like less than a pea size amount to get a good wash on my entire face. I do do a second cleanse, but this wash is so, so good. And, um, you know, I haven't used too much. I'm probably down to here maybe, and it's been about six weeks. Um, but when this runs out, I'll definitely be picking it up. I guess we'll stick with skincare. So the next item that I've absolutely been loving is this Amori Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. I initially saw this on Lisa Marie's channel and I will link her down below. I absolutely love her channel. She talked about how she had oily skin, People with oily skin typically have larger pores in this area, and she was also in a very humid climate. She also has sensitive skin, um, but she absolutely loved what this essence did. And I picked it up, I wanna say about eight weeks ago. Um, a little goes a long way, as you can see there. I'm not even halfway through the bottle yet, but this is extremely pore blurring, like you guys. It instantly like just smooths out the skin, it shrinks up the pores, and it gives this 
it gives your skin like a crazy luminosity, but not in like the shiny way, but just like it kind of glistens like glass. Like I can't explain it. We bought this essence and I was with my sister at Sephora and I poured it on one of her hands and then I compared it to the other hand. Now I just take a couple drops and I work it in. So this is just the way that I do. I actually pat it into my face, but right now I'm just rubbing it in, patting it in. And it, it just, like I said, it instantly refines the face. It makes it look brighter. It makes it look like you literally have no pores. And so I'm just letting it dry up here. So let me show you my hands and I hope you can tell. So this is the one with the essence and it just looks like it's a little more refined. It looks like the pores are even minimized in there. Um, it's softer, whereas here, there's a little bit of dryness. Uh, you know, you can see where the pores are, but it is just incredible, you guys. When Sephora starts doing samples again, I highly encourage you to try a sample of this essence. I know what I'm telling you, you will be hooked from day one. Now, with skincare products, I usually say wait, you know, eight to 12 weeks before you can see a real difference. And I can tell you that in my skin, I've just seen like, again, continuous refinement of the skin. My pores are not as much a problem, which is crazy because we just got out of a very humid summer. But um, it is just really, really nice. Also, because Lisa Marie has very sensitive skin, I feel confident in recommending this to people of all skin types because it won't irritate your skin. Um, it's got green tea in there, so it's extremely hydrating. And I'm just, I'm really loving this essence, you guys. Now, I do like, it's like the seven skin method, but I only do like three or four skins every night where I will layer essences, and this is one of them. During the day, this is the only one I use because I don't want to over hydrate my skin. Um, but I'm just loving, loving this Amora Pacific essence. We're gonna stick with skincare here and during the summer, my skin transitioned to a very oily state. Being in Dallas with very humid weather, it was very hot. And so I knew that I had to maybe go in a little bit more with my exfoliating acids and try to keep that sebum production down. And the one that I went to was a Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose. Now this is a glycolic serum and what it does is it is a chemical exfoliant. It has 12% AHA, BHA blend, and it really does help so that the cells on your skin turn over faster, therefore giving you a more smooth appearance, a youthful appearance, because you don't have a bunch of dead skin cells packed layer after layer. So it really does help your skin look very, very nice. I had tried it before when I was in a drier climate and this was a little too harsh for my skin. So I would say proceed with caution. Um, Drunk Elephant does a really good job of selling these mini sets for $25 that it has like two or three little minis in there that you can try out. So maybe try that route first. Uh, but I'm absolutely loving this. I can now, now that I've worked myself up, I can use it two or three times a week and be fine. But because I do use retinol, I'll use my retinol like three nights out of the week and then I'll use this once a week and I just wake up with like really beautiful turned over skin and I just think that if I have to choose between like chemical exfoliants versus physical exfoliants, chemical is the way to go for me because again, like I have aging skin. Um, I'm 39 years old. I'm starting to get my, I'm starting to notice that my skin's a little bit thinner. I don't wanna be pulling on it or going in with harsh exfoliants. And so chemical exfoliants is the way for me and I'm loving this TLC Framboose from Drunk Elephant. Um, so yeah, check it out. Now, not all that glitters is gold, honey, because the next product is also Drunk Elephant and it is the F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial. I picked this up because like I said, I, I do use chemical exfoliants and retinols very regularly during my nighttime routine. And sometimes that can cause a little bit of irritation, a little bit of dryness sometimes. And so as an added layer of moisture or hydration, I wanted to add in an overnight sleeping mask and I heard about this one everybody had such wonderful things to say and you know it made you wake up looking like you know you were a dewy little plumpy baby I mean your skin looked great in the morning blah 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 I did not see a difference you guys um honestly it's a very expensive product I'll put the the, the information on the prices and everything down below, but it's Drunk Elephant. It's very, very expensive, and I didn't really see a benefit to this 
Um, you know, maybe it's the fact that it, it was summer and my skin was oily and so maybe I didn't need it, so didn't see too much benefit. So I'll definitely pull it back out in the next four weeks or so when it gets even cooler and see if I'm really seeing a benefit from this product. But for now, this is a fail. And I needed to mention it now because I've had it for, you know, about eight to 10 weeks and it's an expensive product. So I have to let you guys know what I'm finding in these, okay? So, eh, like almost not worth the money. The next product that I'm going to talk about is one that I'm very excited about. I picked up this gift set duo from Nordstrom when they were having their anniversary sale. And I'm talking about the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. It came in a gift set with this highlighter. It's a 3D all over glow. The highlighter is really, really nice. It's more of a very subdued glow and I do enjoy it. I do love it and use it from time to time. But the winner here was the blur primer. I, I love it. I think it's so extremely pore blurring. I think that it makes my makeup last longer. It helps it go on very smoothly. It definitely fills in the pore so that everything looks like a nice, clean, smooth canvas. And I absolutely love it. Um, for a long time, I was a fan of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So this one's very similar. It has like that silicone feel. Um, it feels really good on the skin and I am loving it. Um, but I wanted to mention it because I just got it for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And as you can see, like I'm putting a dent in it because I'm using it every day. I really like it. The next one that I want to talk about, which I'm so, so happy about is the Kogan Doe Moisture Foundation. Now I do have a full thorough, uh, like five day review on my channel. So I'll link the video up here. But initially I thought this was going to be a major fail. And it turns out that I was just using it wrong. Um, they sent a brush, they sent a sponge, none of it worked for me. But when I actually went in with just a couple drops and I'm talking like maybe two or three drops and just dabbed it with my finger and rubbed it in like a tinted moisturizer or cream. This is so, so beautiful. It's extremely long wearing. Um, you know, Kogan Doe, if you look back at the history, they developed this line to be used under very heavy lights and cameras. And so it had to look really, really good um, for very, very long amounts of time. And it is so beautiful. I love it. I'm so happy that I got it to work for me. The next product is one that I am so happy about as well because I just featured it in my Hispanic Heritage video. Um, I'll link that one here. It's such a special video to me. Um, but we learned a little bit about the background of Melt Cosmetics and about the two founders and how they came to be, how the line came to be. Um, the one that I'm talking about is this new launch, which are these dual blushes. Mine is in the shade Buzzkill, and half of it comes with a blusher, which also has some luminosity in it, and then a highlight. I'm loving it so far. I haven't used the highlight too much, but this is almost like my daily go-to blush. I really like the peachiness in it. Um, I like the luminosity in it. I think that it's great for summer transitioning to fall. And so I've really been enjoying this. Another winner are these little e.l.f. Uh, line and define eye tapes. I've used them in videos a couple times, but like I love when I'm doing a dramatic eye look to just put my little eye tapes here and um, do my eye look, not worry about being too precise with my eyeshadow because this is gonna help it look really, really cleaned up, snatched on the side, honey. And so I really, really like these, like I said, when it's a more like defined and artistic looking eye, um, it doesn't pull on my skin. And if I have foundation down, it doesn't disturb it. So I think these are really, really good. I think they're like two or three bucks and they come with 40 different, f with 40 strips. So I think it's a good deal. The next one is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless uh, Setting Spray. This is actually my third little bottle because every time I go to buy a big one at Nordstrom, they're out. So I've had to buy a mini three times. So I really, really love this finishing spray. It sets my makeup, it stays put, it goes nowhere, and I'm really enjoying it. Initially, I thought that it was a little drying, but it, it must have been another product because the last two bottles that I've used do not dry out my face, and I really, really like it. It's mask transfer resistant, I mean the whole bit. So go get you some. The next product, I'm not gonna talk about in too much detail because I have dedicated videos to all of them, but I am talking about the Dior 5 Color Couture Quince. 
Um, I'm loving these, you guys. The formula is, as everyone says, it is like none other. It looks so beautiful on the eyelids. It's very forgiving for aging eyelids. Like mine are starting to get thinner and crepey. And so the formula is so buttery, so smooth that it just glides over the eyelid and it creates a really beautiful look. They're very pigmented. Some are very subdued and just provide a wash of color, which makes them so classy. And I'm just loving them. I'm going to link all four videos down below so you can go check those out afterwards. But we've been like creating some really fun looks and I'm really excited about these. I think I'm gonna pick up two more to be honest. So anyway, that's definitely a favorite for me. The next product is the Chantecaille Longest Lash Mascara. Now, this is like an in-between and let me explain. I uh, bought this mascara. I kind of have short lashes. They're not the best, but I had extensions for many years and um, my lashes were really brittle. They weren't growing out very quickly. And then when I started my channel, I started wearing lashes quite a bit. And then the glue was pulling off my natural lashes. And on a Chantecaille Live with, I believe, it was either Just Glow Firefly or Abby Bliss White. Um, they talked about the longest lash mascara and how this was like a cult favorite and talked about how there's not necessarily a lash growth serum in it, but there is rose essence or rose oil and just um, ingredients that really help soften up the lashes, condition them and fortify them. And so when I heard that, I was like, yeah, sign me up, honey. I don't even care how much it costs. But when I got it, I was like, eh. It's kind of like thinner mascara, doesn't do anything spectacular for my lashes, blah, blah, blah. Well, I used it every single day anyway. And when I wanted a, a, a thicker application of mascara, I would go in with this first and then go in with whatever other mascara I had close by, usually like the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. And what I've noticed over the last month, month and a half has been incredible, you guys. My lashes are strong. My lashes are not flaking off anymore or like, falling off at the most minimal tug. Now I'm very careful with my eye makeup when removing it, but what I've noticed is my lashes are longer. And so I am so excited about this. I am treating this as a lash serum. So like a pre-treatment to my actual mascara for the day. So in that capacity is where I'm saying that this is a favorite. If I'm not wearing mascara for the day and I'm just wearing lashes, I will still throw on one or two coats of this and then go in with my lashes and my lash glue. And I feel like my lash glue, when it's time to wash off, comes off very nicely and easily. And I don't have um, breakage in my lashes. I just like, if you're going for the big, dramatic, voluminous look, this is not your mascara, but if you really want to give TLC to your lashes and make sure that they're protected and that they have really good ingredients on them, this is the mascara for you. The next one is the Sicily Blur Powder. Um, I heard about this on my friend Susanna Torres's video, and she talked about how, you know, she didn't really like it because it was changing the color of her makeup or whatnot until someone gave her the tip to use this as um, a pre-treatment for your pores. And so the way that you use it is you apply your primer, whatever primer you're gonna use for the day. Before you go in with your foundation, you take a little brush and then you just swirl it in the powder and then you start working it into your pores and instantly your pores are blurred. After that step, again, it's a very, very finely milled powder, not a lot. I mean, it's extremely fine. Um, after this step, you go in with your foundation and not only will your foundation stay put, but your pores do not show up again until you wash your face at night. And so I have really, really been loving the Sicily Paris Blur Powder. I think it's the blur expert. I think that this is such a miracle product in my routine now and I just love it. And I love that I heard this on Susanna's channel. Okay, we have one more fail and one more favorites and I'm gonna go with the fails first. Now, please understand what I'm gonna say because this is gonna be an unpopular opinion. <laughs> but, um, now, if you're looking for a long wearing lipstick, uh, this is it, your Chanel La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenu Glosses and Liquid Lipsticks. These are beautiful. These will not budge. These go nowhere if you're wearing a mask, if you're eating, if you're drinking and whatnot. For me, the formula is a little drying. Um, I compared it to like my Ofra Matte Liquid Lipsticks where that 
formula is just so comfortable, so yummy. And I prefer that one, to be honest. Um, I still really, really love these colors, so it pains me to say it. And I know that there's a lot of you out there that love these lipsticks. Um, but they're kind of a fail for me. They're expensive. They're $38 a piece and they make my lips really, really dry at the, like, you know, a couple hours in and then they get really crusty in between my lips and start to like ball up and come off. And you know, I've tried it all, you know, other stuff. I know how to apply matte liquid lipsticks, you know, so, but I've tried exfoliating my lips, maybe using like a Burt's beeswax or my little drunk elephant lippy balm in between to keep my lips hydrated. Um, if I'm wearing a mask, I don't like to use the gloss portion because it will stick, but, um, yeah, I've tried it all and I, I like, they're not horrible, but they're not a favorite because of what, because of the price and because the matte formula in here, the long lasting formula, I shouldn't say matte, but the long lasting formula just, it's not like an outright winner winner in my book. So nobody shoot me, nobody come for me, but I didn't like them. I didn't like them. Sorry. Okay. And then the last favorite, I picked this up during Ulta's 21 days of beauty. And this is the buxom uh, lip plumping lipsticks. It doesn't have a lot of pigment. They almost feel like a bomb, but it's a lipstick. You see that there? They're really, really cute. I mean, look at the packaging is really nice. And then when you look up close to the lipstick, it's got like little embossings of like lips and stuff. They're really, really cool. Um, it does give you like that tingling sensation of a plumping effect. So it does have that just like the glosses do. But my favorite combination has been just going in with like my Chanel Nude Brun lip liner. And then um, I go over it with this. And the combination is just so pretty. So I do have a lip combo lippy tag coming up soon with a really cool friend of mine. So stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to show you uh, what my favorite lipstick combo was right now at the moment. So one last item for the month of September and I've probably beat this dead horse to the ground, but like this is the last time you'll hear me say it, except I'll probably mention it in other videos, but they're just that good. And one of my favorite, favorite items for the month of September and also August was the BK Beauty Brit Clark Bundle Set. I love this set. I'm so happy that Brit introduced us to it. Now, BK Beauty has been around for a while. Lisa J, the founder, has a larger channel here on YouTube. She's amazing. I love her channel as well, but I had just never stepped into the brand and tried it. And so now that I have, like, favorite, favorite, favorite for the month of September. I had to mention it because I didn't do this for August. And you know, these brushes are just so good, you guys. I have very expensive brushes and then I have some um, drugstore brushes and then these are kind of in between, but this BK 101 foundation brush, you know, I don't know what it is about the shape, but it just works. I know that it's sold out because it's that amazing. We've got our little pencil brush, BK 201 and 202, um, the powder brush here. I just love these brushes. If you have an opportunity, you know, during the holiday, if they have bundle sets on sale, whatever the case, definitely look into these brushes. They are so, so good. I guess honorable mention here and say, Brick Clark, congratulations. You just hit your 10,000 subscriber count milestone, which is huge. Thank you to Lisa for being so sweet. We've been able to connect here on YouTube and then through Instagram a little bit, and she's just amazing. I guess a little fun fact about the brush company, it's it's BK Beauty Brushes and her mission behind the brand is be kind. That's what BK stands for. So that is a brand and a mission statement that I can get behind. I love what they stand for. I love Lisa J and yep, these are one of my favorites for the month of September. All right guys, so that is it. I hope that you enjoyed just some quick rundown reviews of what I've been loving in the month of September. Um, I think that these are helpful. I do have an empties video coming up soon and I think that is also helpful because, you know, sometimes you see us use products on our videos maybe once or twice and then you never see it again. But this gives you an idea of what I'm using day to day at home, what I'm loving, what I'm not loving, as you can tell like yeah I love luxury beauty but luxury beauty or not if I don't like these products that are more higher end I'm going to tell you because that's what I'm here for I'm here to be helpful I'm here to share my honest opinions you know nah people won't always like those or agree with them and that's okay we are a beauty community where we all have different opinions different thoughts and um yeah 
have different things that we love and that we don't. So again, thanks for watching. Thank you, Leela, again, for collaborating with me. Please make sure and go check out her channel. Make sure if you haven't subscribed to go ahead and do that. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified of all of my future videos. And I will see you guys on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much. Have a great Sunday night. Bye.